Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the Toledo Rockets and the Texas El Paso Miners. The excitement is building up for the start of this bowl game. It looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. And here come the Miners. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. UTEP needs to get the ball in the hands of their athletes. That means getting their running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that, Lee, they'll take care of business. I hate to say it, but you're wrong. Yo, I'm picking Toledo. Toledo tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. A little juke. Set up shop at the 23 yard line. First and 10. They line up in the shotgun. Counter to the left. And he's tackled. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Number five has four receivers lined up here. Toss, and they got him for a loss. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Toledo has a defense that, well, it's just playing bad. Have a look at the numbers. Hey, you're being kind, Brad. They can't stop anybody. They better start tackling better. It's going to be another long day. Nickel defense. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. Fires deep down the left side. Has it to the senior. What an amazing catch. First down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. Ball on the 23-yard line. Texas El Paso in a four-wide set. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Still and the defense down. gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down and five to go. Ball on the 18. Here's the option left. And he's taken down. He holds onto it and gets maybe two yards. Second and three. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Nickel defense. Play action, throws it to the outside. Complete, knocked out of bounds. Nice heads up play by the quarterback. Yep, they're moving the chains. And that's a first down. 11 yards out. Yeah. 
the Miners line up in the Maryland Eye formation. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Picked off. He's hit and got away. And credit the safety with that last interception. He knew exactly where the quarterback was going with the football. It's not always about athletic ability. You've got to be a smart player and know what's going on out there. And that comes from breaking down film of the opposing offense and paying attention all week in practice. This safety was ready for today's game. They'll, take They'll start this drive at the 7. First and 10. Number one, lines up in the shotgun. And down he goes. Toledo has just been dominant on offense. So far, so good. They've got themselves in the top ten in the country. All year long, these guys have been almost impossible to shut down. They're on the offensive side of the ball. He can scoot. And he's taken down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. Number one is back in the gun. Makes a move. Brought down. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Rockets come out in a shotgun. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thick and run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame them. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. First and, first and ten. ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number one, lines up in the shotgun. And they make the stop, and they pick up nine there. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Looking for his man, complete, and the big fellow with some room. And down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. This is their first shot today in the red zone, and here's what they've done so far this season. Whoa, you talk about success. These guys score just about every time they get down there. Toledo comes out of the shotgun. Back to pass. And they got it. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. It's second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. They'll drop him for a loss. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback on the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. Number one is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Throws this one out to the left, and he gets the touchdown. The defender had no shot at breaking up that touchdown pass to the wideout. He was caught a little out of position. Yes, indeed.
gets the PAT. Under a minute now in the first quarter, and the score, Toledo, seven, Texas El Paso, nothing. Toledo is ready to kick it away. Number eight and number 21 back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number eight fields it in the end zone. I'm sure the coach is talking to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. Texas El Paso goes with the ace set here. Hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. And he's stopped behind the line. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel. He had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. The Miners come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Looking, steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 37, the intended receiver on the play. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 15-yard line. Texas El Paso in a five-wide set. Back to pass. Steps up, throws this one out to the right. Got it. And he's tackled. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Toledo, the seven, the quarter, Texas El Paso, nothing. Toledo, seven. First and 10, ten. ball on the 36. Ball on the line. Number five lines up in the shotgun. He steps up, he's going right. It falls incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Miners come out in a two tight end set. Setting up the play action across the middle. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Nickel defense. Let's it go. And it's caught. He can scoop. Didn't get anything. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Texas El Paso ready to put this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 80 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 20-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. First and 10. Toledo comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Got him on the run. Knocked out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. 40 yard line.
The Rockets line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Look. And he's going to be sacked. And the defensive lineman comes up with a big sack. That's a great individual effort right there, but I'll tell you what. The reason that play was successful was because they came with the blitz on that play. You're right. They sent one more guy than they had blockers for. It's second down now. 14 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Toledo in a four-wide set. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Off his hands and incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and 14. Ball on the 36. Toledo comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Short toss. Complete. Can't wrap him up. They'll bring him down. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. Toledo, ready to put this one away. Number 41 gets it off. Number 24 fields it at the 22. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. The Miners with four receivers. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. Texas El Paso goes with the ace set here. And he's hit hard. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Third and ten. Ball on their own 25. The Miners come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it to the outside. And he's brought down. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. It's first and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. The Miners come out in the ace formation. He gets another carry. Here he goes, and down he goes. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you gotta give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number two is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Batted ball. He tried to force that one in there. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. It's second down and ten to go, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They come out in the Maryland eye. Cut. Cut. They go with a pitch to the right. And now he's got room to run. Tries to juke, and he's shoved out of bounds. A big gain for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Miners come out in the shotgun. Touchdown, UTEP! 
Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Tacks on the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 80, fields at the goal line. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. The Rockets set up in the gun. He drops back, throws it to the outside, and it's incomplete. And that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, Coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. From the gun. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Drop back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Wants to go long and does. Incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. The Rockets with four receivers. Looks like he's going to run. He has some room. And he's taken down. Texas El Paso calls a timeout. punts it number 24 fields it for 30 hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six well look no further than the guys up front they created some huge holes to run through they'll go to work at the 38 The Miners line up with four wideouts. Setting up the play action. Throws this one out to the left. Brought down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Single set backfield. They'll throw on first down. Got it to his receiver. He goes down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. They 
They'll come out in a five-wide set. They'll throw on first down. It falls incomplete. He let his hat back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22. The Miner come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. It's dropped. Dropped by the wideout. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The defense lines up with six DB. Drops back to pass. Looks, steps up, wants to throw outside. It's deflected. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And he missed it to the right. They'll set up shot at the 22. on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Four-yard gain by the back. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Rockets line up with three wide. He drops back. He's looking. He's under pressure. And he's drilled. Texas El Paso takes a timeout. Ball on their own 21. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. He steps up looking. Home run ball in the air. It's tipped. And he's got it. And he's taken down. Toledo calls a timeout. Since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's going left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Toledo comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looks like he's going to run. Tackle. Toledo takes a timeout. We get third and three here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. He gets it up, and it is good. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened.
They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He kicks it. Number eight takes it at the eight. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Toledo, 10, Texas El Paso, 7. Texas El Paso will be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 87 fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 18-yard line. First and 10. The Rockets come out in a bunch formation. He drops back with the throw, and it's caught, and down he goes. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yep, just a wasted play right there. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 20. Number one is back in the gun. Back to pass. Across the middle. Incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 20. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. Across the middle. And he dropped it. Wow, that's just what they didn't want to see. Well, let me tell you something. This kid is mentally tough, and he'll bounce back after that drop. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 20-yard line. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Gets it away. Number 24 takes it to 36. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 39. Texas El Paso goes with the ace set here. He's looking. Here's the long ball, left side. It's high, and he makes the catch. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. Since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Miners with four receivers on the ground with a tailback. Here he goes! Brought down. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. The Miners come out in a shotgun. Counter right. Shifty move there. Second touchdown there by the running back. And you could tell he really wanted to get in on that one. Yeah, he showed a lot of determination and heart on that run. That's a nice touchdown.
and he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. Number 80 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Toledo lines up with three receivers. On the ground with a tailback. He spins around, and he's tackled around five yards on the delayed handoff. It's second down and five to go. Ball in the 25. Number one comes to the line with three wide. They go with the run, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Look at that. The blitz just threw off their blocking assignments, and that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 21. They'll work from the shotgun. Looking down the middle. Got him on the run. And down he goes. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 31. On the -yard line. Toledo comes out in the shotgun, steps up, looks, wants to throw outside. Got it to him on the run. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Rockets line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down, throws it to the outside, and that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Toledo lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's going right. Knocked out of bounds. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. He's looking. Fires deep down the right side. And it falls incomplete. Toledo, ready to punt this one away. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 24 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 20-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll start this drive at the 20. Texas El Paso going with three backs here. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Comes across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20.
They come out of the nickel. They'll run the option. Looking. Throws it out there. The ball is high, and he got it. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Texas El Paso goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. He wants the long ball. Incomplete. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Back to pass. With the throw. Complete. Broke away from one. With the spin. Brought down. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number five with three wide receivers. Toss. And he's going to throw. They'll bring him down. I don't think the defense was quite ready for that one, and they give up a first down and good yardage. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Miners with four receivers. Across the middle, and it's the senior. And they make the stop. That's a good nine-yard gain. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. Number two is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still so instead of down. moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. Back to pass. Looks. Throws this one out to the left. Someone got a hand on it. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 19. And the impact receiver is in the zone right now. He drops back. He steps up. Throws it to the outside. He came down with it. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Tax on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. like they're ready for the kick. Number 
Kicks it deep. Number 87 fields it in the end zone. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll set up shop at the 18. They'll start the drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Toledo in a five-wide set. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. And he's hammered down. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Number one with four wide receivers. Drops back to pass, steps up, he's looking. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. This falls incomplete. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. Third and 14, ball on the 14. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. He steps up, looking across the middle. Almost intercepted. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Number 24, back deep to return. Number 41 gets it off. Number 24 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 41. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Texas El Paso, 21, Toledo, 10. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. The Miners come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Going deep. He's got it. Makes a move. Touchdown, Miners. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. the PAT. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Texas El Paso, 28, Toledo, 10. Ready to kick. Is lined up for the he boots it deep downfield. Number 87 fields it in the end zone. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Toledo lines up in a shotgun set. There's the play fake. Steps up in the pocket. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. The Rockets set up in the gun. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled, and they pick up two yards. Three. 
Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 17. The Rockets come out in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Short talk. Incomplete pass. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Toledo lining up the punt. It's off and it is a dandy. Number 24 fields it at the 39. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll get the ball here at the 46-yard line. The Miners with four receivers. A little shake and bake move. He breaks free. Inside the 30 to the 10. And he's in there. Touchdown. That's his third touchdown on the ground, fellas. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Texas El Paso, 35, Toledo, 10. Texas El Paso lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 80 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Toledo in a four-wide set. Hut! Hut! They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. The senior makes the catch. And he's taken down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number one with three wide receivers. He jukes him. Breaks one. And down he goes. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Wall right around midfield. The Rockets come out in the ace formation. Tackle. About four yards on that play. Third and five. Wall right around midfield. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He's looking. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback is going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. Line up. 
enough to punt this one away. Number 41 gets it off. Number 24 calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Well, look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. They'll set up shop at the 20. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. The Miners come to the line with their jumbo package. Here's the give. And now he's got room to run at the 40. Across midfield at the 40. And he's tackled. How do you like that run? I'll tell you what, if you're the defensive coach, you don't like it at all. In fact, you're probably disgusted. No doubt. That big fullback made this defense look bad on that play. It's first and 10, ball on the 30. Texas El Paso lines up in a goal line set. Juku. And down he goes. They'll get six yards. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Miner with a stack backfield. Another run. A little juke. Sheds that one. Brought down. And they move the chains once again. And that's what they need. Move the chains and keep the other team from getting their hands on the football. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. And that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. on the counter. Sheds a tackler. Makes a move. Touchdown, UTEP! And he gets another touchdown. You guys have got to listen to me. This kid has a sixth sense or something. Can't put my finger on it, but it's like to smell the end zone. the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Texas El Paso to kick. Number 80, back to return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 87 fields it in the end zone. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll start this drive at the 18. Going with the shotgun here. They'll throw on first down. Looking. And they got it. Toledo calls a timeout. Right. 
It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 11. Number one comes to the line with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. He's got an opening. And they make the stop. The Rockets call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number one is back in the gun. Nice play fake. Looks, rolls to the right, throws down the middle, and he's tackled. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He gets rid of it. And it's caught. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Taken back three yards. Second and 13. This is the fifth play of this drive. And this blowout is finally over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. UTEP looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this contest of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, Texas El Paso, 42. Toledo, 10. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.